My most viewed videos throughout my career is hands down my holiday brunch ideas. And I think the reason I love doing them so much is because food brings people together. It's just a way to stay connected and it encourages us to open up and share our lives with each other. So I'm bringing you my yearly brunch idea for the holidays. You guys should know me by now how I always start with a base and in this case it's the greenery. I shared this in my last video which by the way got a ton of inquiries about it. It's from Hobby Lobby and I got it a few years back off season for 75% off I believe. Yes and I bought them all. My love for anything tiered will always be. Last year I got this from Home Goods for about 60 bucks, I believe. And I'm loving the gold. This is something you can use for any occasion or any season. This is new to my entertaining collection that's also from Home Goods. And again, tiered anything. It gives you space to put another food item underneath as well as on top. They were selling them individually and I think all three were under 20 bucks or so. I suggest going into the store if you have the time or if you have a home goods near you before purchasing this online. These cake stands you have seen before and I'm still using them in this food set. I've had it for a while and it's from Z Gallery. I'm not sure if they are still selling them. Again, the gold, the bling. I love it. Y'all gotta try this vanilla cream brioche French toast. You guys, it's so good. You can get it from your local Aldi if you uh, live near one, or maybe you can Google it to see where you can buy it. This tastes so good alone, but even if you heat it up a little and have it with your coffee, it's just the best. I wanted to try something different. Just jazz up your egg mixture, add a few tablespoons of real pure vanilla, you guys. The real stuff, okay? Don't skimp on this. Not the imitation, it makes a difference. A little cinnamon, I don't measure at all. A little nutmeg, you know, if you've been cooking as long as I have, you don't need any measurements, you just do it. I recently got rid of all of my silver pieces and it's just not my jam anymore. It's a lot to clean and I don't have time for that. I did save this beauty because it can go into the oven and stay warm. If you don't have something as such, just place your pan in the oven to keep it warm, but be sure that it's oven safe. A week before filming this, I thought I'd try a pumpkin pie that I grabbed from Sam's Club. Okay, here's my confession, you guys. My first time ever eating pumpkin pie. Don't judge me, mind your business. Because we are sweet potato pie eaters. Again, trying something new, and I thought it'd be fun to use cookie shapes for the pies. It makes your guests feel special, right? And it takes no time. In case the Nayers didn't like pumpkin pie, cheesecake it is. Store-bought, of course. I could have scooped it out with a spoon, but you guys know I'm extra. Just layer cheesecake, cherry filling, and whipped cream, and repeat. We are egg lovers in this house, and if you know, you know that adding a little water to your eggs will make them light, airy, and fluffy. The water is actually steaming them, so that's where your fluffiness comes in. Be careful when adding your water. It could dilute the flavor of your eggs, making them tasteless. Just use one teaspoon of water for each egg you prepare.
these are just a few test recipes, but you can best believe there will be more on Christmas Day. This is my favorite tradition of all times during the holidays, making every moment special for my family to enjoy. And like I said earlier, bonding and connecting and making new memories. That's so important, especially nowadays. But before I sign off, my dad and I want to thank all of you for your condolences. He is such a cutie, right? That's my dude. Every day is getting better for him. We will keep him lifted in prayer every day. It's definitely helping um, you guys. You will be meeting him soon, God's willing. Happy holidays, my darlings. And I want to thank you all for watching.